Đúng đi à? Đúng rồi Good morning guys, welcome back. For those of you that are new here, my name is Bethany. I'm 25 years old. I'm from Australia, but I've been living in Bali for the last five years, a bit more than five years. I'm married to a local Balinese man, his name is Bobby, you saw him just before. And we have one daughter, she's almost three years old, her name is Yuka. I haven't been making videos for the last few weeks, but I just wanted to give you guys some updates. Um, first of all, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. It's a little bit late, but I hope you all had a beautiful holiday season with your friends and family and ate lots of good food and yeah, just enjoyed your time. I was really missing my family this year because obviously Christmas is a time that you celebrate with your family and it's summer in Australia right now, so it's a great time and I just really miss them this year. It's been three years since I've been in Australia and two years since I've seen any of my family in person, so yeah, it was a sad year, but it was also nice because Bobby and I and Yuka, we didn't do too much for Christmas. We just gave a few presents to Yuka in the morning. Wow. What is it? It's not my nanny. It's your toy. And then we still had a normal day, I worked and Bobby was busy and then we just had dinner out at Awarung because on that week we were sick and so we still weren't feeling super good by the weekend. Oh, this is my teeth. But it was nice, it was a nice relaxing Christmas. New Year's was great also. We just had a normal day again, like working and stuff, but then in the evening we made a special meal. So we made like grilled satay, chicken and tempeh, and I roasted like potatoes and some vegetables. It's New Year's Eve and we're making a special meal. What are you making, Bobby? Satay. Satay what? Satay ayam. Satay ayam, satay chicken. I'm making potatoes, like roasted style, but I only had a couple and so we just bought more and I need to prepare them. But these tasted really good, so I'm excited to have more. Can you say, Happy New Year? Can you say, Happy New Year? <laughs> Are you going to do fireworks later? Oh, rude. Ooh, getting the butt in it. Are fireworks illegal in Indonesia or not? Legal. Illegal, but people just do it anyway. So we got some fireworks. Our cousin bought some on the way home. So later at midnight, we're gonna do fireworks up in the sky. Here's the finished satay. So they end up putting ketchup, like uh, soy sauce. It tastes really good and this is like satay, spicy satay sauce, which is really delicious, but it is quite spicy, so can't eat too much of the sauce, but really delicious food. Hello guys, Selamat Tahun Baru 2022, yay! And then we did fireworks at our house because Indonesia, I suppose fireworks are technically illegal, but people still do them. So everyone can buy fireworks, usually just on the side of the road, people sell them just before New Year's. Then you can do them yourself, which was a little scary for me because in Australia, you obviously can't do fireworks yourself, it's illegal. So we've never done them before and I've always known them to be dangerous. So I was kind of scared of letting 
people do them, but um, it went okay, it was fine. So we just ate some good food and stayed up until 12, watched the fireworks, and yeah, that was it. The last few New Year's I've not even stayed awake until 12, so <laughs> this year I made sure that I did and it was really, really nice and um, Yuka loved the fireworks, so it was very, very cute. I'm just eating breakfast, I've just finished working in the morning and this breakfast is called bubur ayam or chicken porridge, so it's like cooked rice and then chicken, nuts, a little bit of vegetables and then some like chicken stock and sambal to make it a little bit spicy if you want so I'm about to eat breakfast but yeah I just wanted to update you guys on a few things so that was Christmas and New Year's but also around this time we have been doing a lot of renovations in our house so that's what I wanted to show you guys and you might notice I'm in a kitchen Wow. So before we just had like our wooden cupboard over there in the other uh, building with our hot plate and like it wasn't really fully functioning because we didn't have a sink you can't obviously like wash your dishes straight away and stuff but this is the this is like Bobby's grandpa Bobby's grandpa's building so obviously he recently passed away and now we were able to use it so we have been renovating we've added tiles as you can see and we changed the sink and the tap so it's all nice and fresh and yeah now we have a completely fully functioning kitchen which I'm loving I've been doing a lot more cooking um, yeah I'm super super happy about this I was kind of resistant to the idea because this building is a little bit old so I would have liked to have just renovated the whole thing and like started fresh but obviously we couldn't really afford that at this time so yeah I was kind of like mm, I don't really want to spend money on it kind of thing but it has turned out really great and I'm really really loving it and enjoying it um, so this is one of the things that we did and then we also put tiles on the outside of this building because the same issue being Bali being Indonesia the weather or the climate is very humid so that causes a lot of moss and mold to grow and it peels the paint so it doesn't last very long it might last you a month or two months before it starts peeling and growing mold and stuff so on the outside of this building was quite bad so we've added tiles to that and the same thing was happening in our bedrooms and I've tried every other way of getting rid of the mold, but I just got so tired of it. I said, let's just add tiles. It's going to be better. It's going to be less maintenance and it's going to be white and fresh and clean and also more healthy because obviously mold is a big health concern. So the renovations have been for the last two months or so. And now I think we're finally done for now. In the future we would like to build a second bathroom but that probably won't be for another few months or so and let me show you the house let's go so this is the outside of the house so we've added these cream tiles they're kind of like a marbly pattern marbly style and yeah so that looks a lot better and they painted the top half so it's all fresh Bob just put this new temple up so it looks good but apparently he's just saying he wants to put like plaster on the roof instead of this natural woven material they made this sink here as well just from cement and added a tap and put our old mirror there too so that's kind of great we can use the sink and like brush our teeth outside of the bathroom because there's only one bathroom between like six people so it's good it's nice to have yeah it looks good this is our bedroom now so we've put in white tiles from the floor to the ceiling because in this room in particular was super bad mold up in this corner so I didn't really have much choice to do like half tile and half paint, but this looks okay anyway. I wasn't sure how I would feel about having tiles 
in the bedrooms because that's obviously not very normal in Australia, but health is more of a concern, so it's okay. And it's not so bad, it looks pretty normal, I guess. And we also painted the roof again, we painted, this used to be like dark wood up here, but we painted it all white so that it's all flush. Yeah, I've got a nice new mirror coming. A beautiful like, it's like rounded at the top and a gold frame. That should be here tomorrow actually, so I'm really excited about that. I will put in a clip of it if it arrives tomorrow. So yeah, we need to get another wardrobe i think because we've got all of yuka's toys and stuff we need some extra storage and i also might get a new bed frame which has drawers at the bottom just so we have even more storage too Mommy. yes tuki show the people what you've done what did you do did you draw on yourself there you go. can you say good morning Baba what is that is that a meal it's a cat Ready? One, no. Wow, they have great photos. They look really good. Oh, okay, let's go look at the other bedrooms. Okay. Okay. Here is um, the other bedroom. So again, just half wall of tiles, but they're going to paint the top half, which they haven't done yet, but. It will be painted eventually. Yes, Cindy. And then this room too. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at my thing. Can you clean that, please? Okay, Mama. Wipe it off with this. Okay. Thank you. Clean it. Wipe it off. Clean. Yeah, I can see you've got it on the floor too. Wipe it off. Come on. Yes, this room is a spare bedroom, but also my office. Um. So I work in here most days and we've changed it around a little bit. And this um, clothing rack with all of our ceremony clothes used to be in our bedroom. But now we have it here because this is kind of a shared space. So everyone can kind of come in and get it when they want. Thank you, Yuka. That's a good job. Well done. Yep, wipe the floor too. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Um. Yep, there's still a little bit left. Okay, so that's a little life update for you guys. That's what we've been doing the past few weeks or even a couple of months. I'm not even really sure. Um, the only other thing that has happened during that time is we had a ceremony in the village for everybody's, for everybody who has a family member who passed away, but they haven't completed the last step in the process, like our family. I was a bit of a bummer to miss out on that, but anyway, it's in regards to later this year in August, we are doing Nyaben for the whole village. It's the last step in the process for someone who has passed away where um, the souls or the spirits of the people passed away will actually come home to live in the family temples in their houses. So it's going to be very, very interesting. I'm very curious to see what it's going to be like because I know that it's going to be very exciting and emotional, of course, but also very extravagant and amazing. So even though it's in August, which is still six months away, they've actually started planning it and preparing for it from now. They've had a few meetings in the village to discuss what they're going to do and what they need um, and everything like that. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see what happens from now leading up until the ceremony and I'm looking forward to it. That's really all. Just wanted to update you guys about where I've been and what, what's been happening in our lives recently. And I also want to say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. I've just hit 300, which feels amazing. I'm very appreciative of you all for joining me and I can't wait to share more with you guys. Thank you, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>